This video is brought to you by the Roll for Combat Actual Play Podcast and their three ring adventure series. And by the Deck of Mini and their big bad booklet series. Hello and welcome back to the Gallant Goblin. Today we have our second set of Humblewood minis from our friends and sponsor, the Deck of Mini. This set is called Beasts of the Wood, and I think it's safe to say that this set can be used in any campaign that takes place in the woods or features a creature who likes to summon or transform into animals. So even if you don't play Humblewood in particular, this might be a good mini collection for you. The set features four unique minis with one repeating for five minis in total. So without further ado, let's open it up and take a look. In Humblewood, there's an area known as the Scorched Grove that's overrun with fire elemental energy. And it's from here that you might meet fire-touched creatures like the Ash Snake, which resembles a giant serpent formed from magma. While they lack traditional vision and hearing, they do have blind sense and tremor sense. Full stat blocks and lore information can be found in the Humblewood source book, of course, but depending on how you paint it, this mini can easily be used as a standard giant snake. An ash snake has a CR of four. Forest prowlers are beasts of legend in Humblewood. They're able to grow leaves and greenery on their fur to better camouflage themselves in the trees, making them nearly impossible to see until it's too late. And yes, they don't hide along the ground. They're stalking you from the canopy. So don't forget to look up. These beasts are apex hunters who are able to dash into battle, do vicious amounts of damage, and then vanish again before you know what hits you. Forest prowlers have a CR of four. The Humblewood Mountain Lion is to the mountains what the forest prowler is to the woods. The mountain lions that roam the Crest Mountains have rocky protrusions along their bodies that allow them to more easily hide along the rocky terrain. They also seem to have some sort of mystical connection to the land, as they can use their roar to call down a rock slide in just the right area they need to ambush and bury their prey. Mountain lions have a CR of one. Ember bats are another fire elemental creature. They pretty much resemble fire-breathing bats. It's not quite entirely understood what the evolutionary purpose of the tiny flames that they produce actually is, but it's theorized that it attracts the bugs that they like to eat. Individually, they're pretty harmless, but they tend to attack in swarms, and inside a swarm of ember bats, well, it can get pretty toasty. And when you're set upon by two swarms, as you get two ember bat swarm minis in this set, then you are really out of the frying pan and into the fire. An ember bat swarm has a CR of one half. The minis in this set give you some unique spins on traditional animals that should add a lot to your ongoing campaign, whether in Humblewood or some other campaign setting. And you can certainly paint them up as you like. Perhaps the protrusions coming out of the mountain lion or actually ice, and this is a lion that prowls the elemental plane of ice and sometimes escapes into the cold mountain tops of the Sword Coast. It's all up to you and your imagination. This set, like the others, can be found at Humblewood.com for $25 to $30. And check out all the other Humblewood materials and free resources and adventures at Humblewood.com. Many thanks to our sponsors, including, of course, the Deck of Mini and their Big Bad Booklet series, a monthly zine bringing you new monsters for 5th edition D&D. Each booklet contains everything you need to run a fun encounter with a unique boss each month. This month, come meet the Hydrail, a massive multi-headed snail driven only by its need to consume magic of all kinds. Will you stop this monstrous mollusk or get caught in this slimy path of destruction? Learn more and subscribe today at BigBadBooklet.com. We also want to thank our buddies at the Roll for Combat Actual Play podcast. Today we're featuring their Three Ring Adventure series in which they played the awesome Extinction Curse Adventure Path for Pathfinder 2nd Edition. A motley band of circus performers find themselves thrust into adventure when they uncover a sinister plot to exterminate all life from the Starstone Isle. And they have to battle this threat while continuing to put on a show. 
Follow along on your podcasting app of choice or over at RollForCombat.com. And thank you for watching today. If you enjoyed the video, you can click the little thumbs up button so people will find it when they search for Humblewood Minis on YouTube and subscribe so you don't miss anything. We have a ton of fun things to show you over the next couple of weeks and there's some big stuff coming out in January as well. You can follow along for all the latest news on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. For now, stay safe, have fun, love each other, and I'll see you next time at the Gallant Goblin. <laughs>